we didn't start the way we would have liked, and uh, Collingwood got some some goals on the on the scoreboard early, and from then we were we were just chasing them all night. They uh, they had a bit of scoreboard ascendancy, uh, they just basically moved the ball into their forward line a bit easier than we would have liked, and uh, you know we when we fought hard and got ourselves into a position where we could do some damage with the ball going inside 50 or just just prior to that kick inside 50. Unfortunately, we probably turned it over a few too many times that uh, made it really hard to defend. So we never we, we almost got back to within four goals at one stage, but uh, unfortunately, again, we made a turnover. They went down the other, other end, kicked one, and then another couple in a row, and uh, yeah, we never never got close all night. Uh, Matt Hanson was out of the side sick, unfortunately, and, and Matt's our, I guess he's our number one clearance player inside mid, um, and Collingwood probably were planning for him. Um, unfortunately, him not in the side, you know, gave other people opportunities. But uh, yeah, we, whatever the numbers were, we were down a few uh, probably contested possessions and, and clearances just on the back of Matt not being available. Ethan Petterwood went down during the week and he'd come into the side, uh, I think it was rounds three and four, come into the side and given us some real grunt around the contest, given us some real tackling pressure and, uh, and, and been something that somebody that helped us out in that contested and defensive part of the game. And uh, again, he wasn't there tonight, so we probably missed a little bit in that area, but you know, we would have liked to have had him, but I think he'll be back in a couple of weeks' time. Joel Bennett, I thought he was good. I thought he took uh, took the most of most of his opportunities. It was great to see him come in, because when I lobbed in uh, at my first night of pre-season, didn't know anybody. Uh, Joel was new to the club as well, and he was in rehab for a long time, so I didn't see him as part of the main, main group coming back from a shoulder reconstruction. And I just saw him work really, really hard and, uh, and got back, I believe, earlier than, than he was expected to, mainly due to all the hard work that he did. Uh, with Hendo being the 23rd man for the first four games, Jack Henderson, uh, Joel had gone back to local footy, played a couple of games of local, local footy, really excelled. So he came in earning his spot and, uh, and I thought he, he, he did his job and could hold his head high and, uh, and go a long way to holding his spot for next week. The boys will do recovery on Monday. They'll do the recovery in their regions, so give them a night off from coming to the club. We'll have the one decent training session on Wednesday, do a really good debrief of tonight's game, just so that we walk away clear with uh, where we need to improve the areas that we, you know, we weren't good enough and, and on what we did well and what we can improve on. The boys will have uh, the boys that aren't going to play local footy, so just about everybody that's played you know, regularly in the, in the VFL team will have next weekend off. Uh, those guys, a couple of those guys, do need you know an extra week's footy, so they'll go back to local footy. The rest of our list that are uh, are still you know playing local footy, so that's a bit of a horses for courses weekend off. But most of our VFL boys will have next weekend off, so after Wednesday night they won't be required back at the club until Monday, and then uh, we're into a three uh, three night week leading into Footscray.